Exodus 22, 20 to 26. It's a good, good reference in terms of what these uh, Beatitudes are really talking about. So <clears throat> we, of course, know that Jesus' whole life was dedicated to justice, dedicated to helping people realize how God wants every person to live and how we are to treat one another. And that we pray that, like Jesus, we would get satisfaction and fulfillment out of doing whatever we can to see that people are treated as God's beloved people, that people have the minimum of what they need in order to experience themselves as God's beloved people. Poor in spirit is one thing. Dying of starvation is a whole other matter, and no one can experience themselves as God's beloved if they're starving from lack of food or dehydration or whatever the case is. And the point is not that we would feel guilty about the fact that we may have plenty to eat and potable water to drink, um, but that it's a, a world concern. And again, we think of Pope Francis and how it, uh, one of his concerns is how do we build world solidarity? How do we recognize that every person on earth is one of our sisters and one of our brothers? and that <clears throat> it's up to international powers to take on that challenge of seeing that we are all connected with each other and that we all can experience fulfillment and richness as we find ways to take care of one another, again, particularly those who live on the fringes and beyond.